All right, let's get straight into this, guys. Uh, I actually, before the game started, I went ahead and checked the top 100 for whatever reason. Look at number two, Supreme, right? I I don't even, thankfully, I even uh, checked before I even started this game. I don't even want to make me check. But uh, I get into a game, and I get matched up against him. Now, I didn't know he was number two, but even if I did, I would have I would have wanted to play him just to see, you know, how good he is. Now, if you notice, at EA Madden NFL is in the title. Every time this video is liked, it gets sent to their Twitter feed. And if enough people like it, they, they got to see this. This is ridiculous. This has to change. Now, obviously, they're not going to be able to do anything about it this year. But going on forward, this is stupid. It's retarded. And it shouldn't be allowed. Okay, so I'm only going to show my offensive possessions so you guys can see exactly why I... I don't even want to deal with this game. I truly don't want to deal with this game because of people like this. First play of the game, pay attention to his lineman. Just pay attention to his defensive setup, right? Look. Oh, what a surprise. Fagney only sent the D tackle, right? Okay, really quick pass to Decker. And uh, we call the same play. And look, again, just pay attention to his lineman. This time, he sends the, the left end. But I do notice that quick slant. If you throw it quick enough, it gets there before the purple route. He's coming out in man-to-man, -man, putting his lineman in purples and a spy. He has 10 people in coverage every single play. EA, you cannot allow somebody to put 10 to 11 people to cover five receivers. It shouldn't be allowed. Look at his lineman. Look how everybody backs up except the left end. Look at it's crazy. This dude literally did this every the second play of the game is nothing but Fagdy. Again, first and ten. What a surprise. Oh, look, he sends nobody this time. We do beat him over the top, thankfully, was walk with an absolute god. But he had eleven people in coverage. Why do you design a game to where somebody can put everybody on the field in coverage? I can't put everybody on my field. To a receiver, why should he be able to put everybody in coverage? Now, I'm not putting his offensive in the game. I'm only showing what I'm doing. I'm only showing what I'm doing. So, I know he's doing factors. So, all right, let's run the ball. I try to run. Look at that. DT block shed. Try to run the ball block shed. More fag D. I try to run a toss. The Seahawks are just too good. They react too well to the run. Here we go again. I'm third and ten. And he's in quarters. Surprise, surprise. Man to man. Fag D. Purple's on the outs. He's only sending one. Thankfully, I find somebody. Now, what's frustrating is that the guys he was putting in purples prevented me from doing anything towards the side. I couldn't do comebacks. I couldn't do uh, out routes. I couldn't do C routes because the purples would stop anything going towards the sidelines, which was very, 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 very frustrating. Right here, I don't know what the hell I was thinking doing a, a read option, but I figure, you know what? Um, I'm going ahead and hand it up off the middle anyway. So, Third and four right here. We come out five wide again. And, you know, trying to make some adjustments to beat his defense. Again, Fagdy. Everybody in coverage. He only sends one. We beat him over the top with uh, Holiday. Now, what's crazy about this is the fact that if you think about it, he has man-to-man -man coverage. He's putting two people in purples to cover the sidelines. He's sending one. And he also has a QB spy up, which is covering, essentially covering the middle. You know what I mean? So anything going over the middle, any slants or any um, drags or anything like that, the uh, the spy is, look at that, Fagdy on third and two. Horn their right mind is going to call Fagdy on the goal line in third and two. Like, what makes you think I'm not going to run the ball on the third and two? Like, Fagdy on third and two? Like, the guy just has no defensive skill whatsoever. On offense, the kid was a baller. I'm not going to, you know, sit here and downplay him like he was a bum. On offense, the dude was a beast. Very tough to stop on offense. The, the kid was doing the um, the uh, stiff arm. Some people say it's a glitch. Some people say it's timing. Nonetheless, man, he did a really, really good job of not, like, he was untackleable with Marshawn Lynch. Like, he was literally untackleable. Look at that. Run on Fagdy, right? Why? You know, you get stuffed up. Third and inches. Third and inches. And he calls Fagdy. Who calls Fagdy on third and inches? 
right here we try to beat him over the top but we don't get anything i do pick it up on on a qb sneak ea can you please design a game where you cannot put everybody in coverage you should only be allowed to re-blitz your linemen why am i continuously going up against people who play fag d and if anybody doesn't know what fag d is it's just max coverage fag d is first and goal it was a defense that just makes it really tough to pass the ball when you get closer towards the end zone because you got more and more people in coverage with limited area max coverage is basically what i'm saying why should you allow somebody to put 10 to 11 people in coverage to cover at most five receivers third and 11 right we figure we'll catch him off guard i know he's gonna call fag d i'm just gonna call the draw this should be easy for us down right and this is another stupid thing about this game why am i getting tackled well, look he's backs everybody up block share tackle i can't even run the ball what am i supposed to do if i call a draw it, oh, oh this time look at this he sends absolutely nobody i pass the ball and we drop it of course it's not easy passing the ball when somebody has 11 people in coverage. It's not. It's it's truly not. Especially when he has the best pass coverage team in the game. Seahawks have by far the best pass coverage in the game. Man-to-man -man defense. Purples on the outs. Making it look, one purple, one yellow. Making it difficult to find people. You know what I mean? And what sucks even more is that I have a bad matchup. I have a non-mobile QB. If I had somebody that could run, I would be more effective. I would swerve the spy. I would be able to get around. But because I have Peyton Manning, I can't do anything. I'm forced to stay inside this pocket because that QB spy would eat me alive. Oh, look at this, EA. Can you count how many people he's rushing? Can you count how many people he has in coverage right now? 11 people trying to cover five receivers. Look at the number two overall guy. Look at his defense. Look at his defensive skills. Oh, oh, illegal touching. Don't even count. Bring that back. Bring, I finally find somebody after standing in the pocket for 20 seconds, and it gets called back. You got to love it, right? So right now, I'm just trying to go ahead and score. I already know what defense I'm going against. You know, more fag D. Sends one. We go over the middle. We find Welker. And uh, again, I know this, this video is going to get out to EA. They're going to see it. Whether they choose to deny it or not is on them. But they're going to see it. Every like is going to get sent to their Twitter. If you have Twitter uh, linked up with your YouTube. See, like, right, look. Why can't five guys block two people? Why is it impossible for five linemen to prevent one or two people? Look at this. Look at the block shed. Look how he came in immediately. Again, immediately forcing me to roll outside the pocket. Why can't five guys block one to two people? The same way he's double coveraging everybody. Why can't these line? I mean, come on. Is one, and I don't care who, how good you are. I don't care if you got J.J. Watt going up against the Jacksonville Jaguars offensive line. Five guys is not going to let one guy go in. Right there was a bad throw. That way, there was a tremendous play by him. I'll give credit where credit is due. The play before, I called the the uh, outpost on the left, and then I no huddled and I flipped it, and he just read it. He was on the other safety, and right there, I had just bad plays by me. But of course, I'm already frustrated just by the the fact that I'm seeing, and it's just you make one mistake against Fagdi, then it's done. Now, I mean, running wasn't really working anyway, but now I definitely have to pass the ball. But it's, it's just, look at this. Look at the defense I got to go up against. Like I was saying, I don't care if you got J.J. Watt going up against, you know, the worst offensive line in the league. Five guys should be able to murder one person. Why is he randomly getting block sheds coming in so quickly on five guys blocking him? Why, EA? Can you explain that? Again, more fact. No, actually, right there, he sends three. He actually sent three for the first time this game that I can remember. Oh, oh no, nope. I knew it wouldn't last long. More fag D. More fag D. I, I knew it wouldn't last too long. I knew it had to end eventually, right? <laughs> what was I thinking? Thinking he was going to send. Look at it. More. He's sending just one. And it's this is incredible. This is what I had to go up against, guys. This is what I had to go up against. Now, I had my opportunities to win. But like I said, offensively, he was a beast. Defensively, oh, look at him sending a blitz, catching me off guard. But hey, look what happens when you send the blitz. 
Look what happens when you send the blitz. So you send more than two people. 42 to 25. The game is out of reach at this point because I cannot stop him. I know I can't stop him. And I'm going to show you the last play before I sent the, the concede how he scores. And uh, I've seen a tournament, the ATL's Gamer Society, and, and most people call it a glitch on what he's doing with Marshawn Lynch. Some people say it's just timing. But again, a lot of people say it's a glitch. Of course, I fumble, right? Why not? Go ahead and reward the guy for picking the best team in the game and, and playing max out. Look at this right here. He runs. Look at this stiff arm. You can't tackle him. Stiff arm. Bam. Right there. Again, another one. Stiff arm. Bam. You cannot tackle him. He literally did that all game. I couldn't tackle him. Von Miller, no matter who I sent at him, he would literally stiff arm me and I would just hit the ground and I couldn't do anything. Did you see the defense I went up against? He's very good offensively. I'll give him that. But maybe I just suck defensively. But EA, max coverage every single play. Don't allow people to put 10 to 11 people in coverage. It's ridiculous, man. And then I noticed he was number two because I only uh, lost five points. But then where is he? And then Rams go him. I happen to play him the next game after. What's the coincidence? I go against number two, and then the very next game I go up against number three. And he happens to play Fagdy as well with the Chiefs. Unbelievable. EA fixed this.